are All together as we sing a song Joyfully, yo we are Join together as we pray We will always be Join we now as friends And celebrate the unity we share All as one Keep the fire burning Kindle it with care And we'll all join in and sing Yo, we are All together as we sing a song Joyfully Yo, we are Join together as we pray We will always be Let us make the world And hallelujah Let us make the world A better place Keep a smile handy Lend a helping hand And we'll all join in and sing Yo, we are All together as we sing a song Joyfully, yo, we are Join together as we pray We will always be My dear brothers and sisters A hearty welcome to each one of you To this Eucharistic celebration of love, peace and joy Today, let us pray in a special way For all our brothers and sisters Who are suffering and who have died and gone in the tragic train accident in Odisha, India. We pray that the persons who have died, that the Lord may be merciful to them and grant eternal life. And for all those who are battling in the hospitals for their lives, we pray that the Lord may bless them and restore them to good health. We pray for all the doctors, nurses and all the people who have been generous in coming out in full support to our brothers and sisters. We pray that the Lord may bless our efforts towards our brothers and sisters in Orissa. Along with this intention, we also pray for the intentions of each one of you. May the Lord bless you, guide you and be with you so that you overcome and be blessed with his blessings. Let us now become aware of the presence of God in and around us and surrender ourselves totally in his loving care. Let us begin this Holy Eucharist by signing ourselves in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all and with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Let us pray together. I confess to Lord Almighty God, God and to you, my brothers and sisters, sisters that, that I have greatly sinned, sinned in, in my, my thoughts and in my words, in what, what I have done, done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, whose providence never fails in its design, keep from us, we humbly beseech you, all that might harm us, and grant all that works for our good. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Tobit, chapter 12, verses 1, chapter 5, verses 15 and 20. 
I am the one of the seven angels who stand ever ready to enter the presence of the glory of the Lord. When the feasting was over, Tobit called his son Tobias and said, My son, you ought to think about paying the amount due to your fellow traveller. Give him more than the figure agreed on. So Tobias called his companion and said, Take half of what you brought back in payment for all you have done and go in peace. Then Raphael took them both aside and said, Bless God, utter his praise before all the living for all the favours he has given you. Bless and extol his name. Proclaim before all men the deeds of God as they deserve and never tire of giving him thanks. It is right to keep the secret of a king, yet right to reveal and publish the works of God. Thank him worthily, do what is good, and no evil can befall you. Prayer with fasting and alms, with right conduct, are better than riches with inequity. Better to practice almsgiving than to hold up gold. Almsgiving saves from death and purges every kind of sin. Those who give alms have their fill of days. Those who commit sin and do evil bring harm on themselves. I am going to tell you the whole truth, hiding nothing from you. I have already told you that it is right to keep the secret of a king, yet right too to reveal in worthy fashion the works of God. So you must know that when you and Sarah were at prayer, it was I who offered your supplications before the glory of the Lord. And who read them? So, so too, when you were burying the dead, when you did not hesitate to get up and leave the table to go and bury a dead man, I was sent to test your faith. And at the same time, God sent me to heal you and your daughter-in-law, Sarah. I am Raphael, one of the seven angels who stand ever ready to enter the presence of the glory of the Lord. Now bless the Lord on earth and give thanks to God. I am about to return to Him above who sent me. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Responsorial Psalm Blessed be God who lives forever. Blessed be God who lives forever. By turns, He punishes and pardons. He sends men down to the depths of the underworld and draws them up from supreme destruction. No one can escape His hand. Your response? Blessed be God who lives forever. If you return to Him with all your heart and all your soul, behaving honestly towards Him, then He will return to you and hide His face from you no longer. Your response? Blessed be God who lives forever. Consider how well He has treated you. Loudly give Him thanks. Bless the Lord of justice and extol the King of the ages. Your response? Blessed be God who lives forever. I for my part sing his praise in the country of my exile. I make his power and greatness known to a nation that has sinned. Your response? Blessed be God who lives forever. Sinners return to him. Let your conduct be upright before him. Perhaps he will be gracious to you and take pity on you. Your response? Blessed be God who lives forever. Gospel Acclamation Alleluia! Alleluia! Blessed are those who, with a noble and generous heart, take the word of God to themselves and yield a harvest through their perseverance. 
Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O God. Chapter 12, verses 38 to 44. In his teaching, Jesus said, Be aware of the scribes, who like to walk about in long robes, to be greeted obsequiously in the market squares, to take the front seats in the synagogues and the places of honor at banquets. These are the men who swallow the property of widows while making a show of lengthy prayers. The more severe will be the sentence they receive. He sat down opposite the treasury and watched the people putting money into the treasury, and many of the rich put in a great deal. A poor widow came and put in two small coins, the equivalent of a penny. Then he called his disciples and said to them, I tell you solemnly, this poor widow has put more in than all who have contributed to the treasury, for they have all put in money they had over. But she, from the little she had, has put in everything she possessed, all she had to live on. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. My dear brothers and sisters in Jesus Christ, God, through the readings of today, is inviting and calling each one of us to trust in Him, and He will deliver us. We conclude today, dear friends, the reading of the book of Tobit. Raphael reveals who he is and how he has been sent from God to Tobit, Tobai, and Sarah. Raphael has lived out the name given to him by God, Remedy of God or God heals. God has restored the sight of Tobit and has called Tobia and Sarah to live as couple. God through Raphael has shown each one of us today that how things can work out for us and for those who seek God's will in their lives and who are also willing to persevere through the trying and difficult moments in their lives. Dear friends, the key to God's healing is able to trust and praise God for all the ways God works in one's life. Now coming to the gospel passage of today, Jesus first condemns the actions of the religious leaders who perform actions to be noticed by the others. They want to be the center of attraction. They want the focus to be on themselves. Then Jesus turns his attention to those presenting gifts to God. Jesus sees the wealthy share some of the surplus in giving to God, whereas the poor widow gives all that she has, believing that God is due the fullness of all she has. And this is the difference that Jesus notices and calls his disciples to learn from her that we need to trust the Lord. We need to believe in the Lord no matter what situations we are going through. This is what Jesus is teaching his disciples and each one of us today. Today, my dear friends, we are called to reflect on how it is important to trust the Lord. This is very essential. God, even if you do not understand what is happening in our lives, many a times we are able to trust the Lord when things are all okay. But when things don't go the way we want, it is 
it is very common for all of us to deviate ourselves. But if we remain firm when things don't go the way we want, God will definitely bless us for our trust in Him. So my dear brothers and sisters, we see how Tobit, his son Tobiah and his wife Sarah and the poor widow have trust, enormous amount of trust in the Lord. And they are all blessed because of their trust and confidence in the Lord. They, all the three characters, they manifest to each one of us of their deep faith in God and they are grateful for all God has done for them. So my dear brothers and sisters, Raphael, the angel of God, is reminding to each one of us that God is gracious and when God blesses us, when God comforts us, we are called in turn to proclaim it. This is what Raphael told Tobit. And today he is telling to each one of us, we need to proclaim God's graciousness. We must make known all the good that God has done, is doing and will continue to do. So today the Lord wants us, the experience that we experience through Jesus, He wants us to proclaim this experience. And therefore the final blessing is the Mass is ended. Go in peace and joy to love and serve the Lord. So my dear brothers and sisters, let us take the message of Raphael seriously. Let us proclaim all that the Lord has done to us, to our brothers and sisters who are still away from the Lord, who are in the negative feelings, who are in depression, who are convinced of themselves that God has not blessed them. Let us remind ourselves that we need to proclaim the goodness of God, that we need to take along with us the goodness and proclaim it to our brothers and sisters. We pray for this grace during this Holy Eucharist. Amen. We offer you, O Lord divine, our humble gifts of bread and wine. We place them on your altar, Lord, today. Make them worthy of your love. Send your blessings from above. Sanctify these gifts, O Lord, we pray. O oh, take our hearts, take our minds, take all we have, make them thine, O Pray, my dear brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May, may the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and good of all His holy church. Trusting in your compassion, O Lord, we come eagerly with our offerings to your sacred altar, that through the purifying action of your grace, we may be cleansed by the very mysteries we serve. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. His death we celebrate in love. His resurrection we confess with living faith, and His coming in glory we await with unwavering hope. And so with all the angels and saints, 
we praise you as without end we acclaim holy 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 lord god of hosts heaven and earth are full of your glory hosanna in the highest blessed is he who comes in the name of the lord hosanna in the highest you are indeed holy o lord the fount of all holiness make holy therefore these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall so that they may become for us the body and blood of our lord jesus christ at the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to the disciples saying Take this all of you and eat of it for this is my body which will be given up for you In a similar way when supper was ended he took the chalice and once more giving thanks he gave it to the disciples saying Take this all of you and drink from it for this is the chalice of my blood the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins do this in memory of me the mystery of faith when we eat this bread and drink this cup We proclaim your death O Lord until you come again. Therefore as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection we offer you Lord the bread of life and the chalice of salvation giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember Lord your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis our pope and Derek our bishop and all the clergy Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy welcome them in the light of your face Have mercy on us all we pray that with the blessed virgin Mary mother of God Saint Joseph her most chaste spouse with the blessed apostles with Saint Francis de Sales and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your son Jesus Christ through him and with him and in him a god almighty father in the unity of the holy spirit all glory and honor is yours forever and ever amen at the savior's command and formed by his divine teaching we dare to say Our Father who art in heaven hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil deliver us lord we pray from every evil graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our savior jesus christ for the kingdom the power and the glory are yours now and forever lord jesus christ who said to your apostles peace i leave you my peace i give you look not on our sins but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever amen the peace of the lord be with you always and with your spirit let us offer each other the sign of peace peace be with you Lamb of God you take away the sins of the world have mercy on us Lamb of God you take away the sins of the world have mercy on us 
Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. me food the hunger of my soul is laid to rest and each rare moment that I felt his presence I shall Let us pray. Govern by your spirit, we pray, O Lord, those you feed with the body and blood of your Son, that professing you not just in word or in speech, but also in works and in truth, we may merit to enter the kingdom of heaven through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. The Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Let us go in peace and joy to serve and our brothers and sisters. Thanks be to God. My dear brothers and sisters, wishing each one of you a blessed day ahead. Let us now pray the Navina prayer to Saint Anthony of Padua. I salute you, great Saint Anthony, and rejoice at the favors which our Lord has so highly, liberally bestowed on you. I remind you especially of that blessed moment when the divine infant Jesus condescended to embrace and fondly caress you. Oh, what great happiness and joy must have filled your heart on that occasion. By this special prerogative and by the joy of your beatific vision by which you now behold him face to face. We beg, entreat and conjure you, O dear Saint Anthony, to help us in our afflictions, troubles and anxieties, particularly concerning. My dear brothers and sisters, kindly mention your troubles and your desires now. O oh, let your heart be moved to intercede for me, to hear and answer me. Tell our Lord of the wants and necessities of your devoted client. One word, one sigh from your heart, which Jesus loved so much, will crown my success and fill me with joy and gratitude. Amen. Amen. Let us recite one Our Father and a Hail Mary and a Glory Be. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, 
as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Help us to live our call. We turn to you, Saint Anthony, a mortal soul for all. The star of Padua, we bow. Help us to live our call. We hail thee. 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 Oh, Saint Anthony. Do what do to pray for us? We hail thee, we hail thee, we hail thee, we hail thee, we hail thee. Oh, Saint Anthony, of what do what do to pray for us? Saint Anthony, our advocate in all our daily needs. Saint Anthony, our advocate in all our daily needs. Obtain for us the grace of God, in our life may we succeed. Bow down, bow down, your grace is from above. Bow down. your care and your love we pray to you saint anthony we turn to you saint anthony a model soul for all the star of padua we bow help us to live our call we turn to you saint anthony a model soul for all the star of padua we bow we hail thee, we hail thee, we hail thee, we hail thee, we hail thee. Oh, Saint Anthony, of what do I do to pray for us? We hail thee, we hail thee, we hail thee, we hail thee, we hail thee. Oh, Saint Anthony, of what do I do to pray for us?